What's your name? Mason. How long have you been playing special hockey? For uh, probably three years. Three years. Our community is the Shakopee Sabres, and so, you know, at first he wanted to be a Sabre, and so, you know, to have the opportunity to play was awesome. But Mason had a stroke prior to birth, and so his um, right leg just isn't as conducive to skating as his left leg is. We had put him in skating lessons just to get him, um, you know, skating. Rather than a typical glide, he's kind of got more of a run out there with his, um, Weakness on the one side, he doesn't use both hands, so getting a little more stick control um, with you know, just using one hand is something that he loves. A friend of mine had recommended me to Jane. We got involved and we were just all in from the beginning. It was just a great opportunity for Mason, um, a great opportunity for us to get involved with um, such an awesome organization as a family as well. It was just the perfect fit for him and for his family. He was so excited. I tried it, it was really fun. What makes it fun for you? Um, probably scoring goals. Everything about it is awesome. We just, we couldn't say more about like, the organization, um, the people involved. I love how it's been growing. Um, that's super exciting to see too. And he's gotten to do some really cool things. He's met wild players and skated at the wild games and it's just, it's been awesome. What's a cool special hockey story that you have? Um, probably going into the All Hair Hockey Hall of Fame thing. Um, it's basically like a competition for people who have long hair to make it from like a top 10 group and uh, see like what they're ranked and how long their hair is and how crazy it is. I got like a shirt and a hat and a puck. that he would love to go faster. <laughs> so every day we work on getting a little bit more um, speed out there. We have um, a ninth through 12th grade engineering team that meets with kids in the school district. But Mason was selected as one of the kids that they could meet with and talk about, you know, with his disability, what he wanted to get better at. And of course he said hockey and, and um, kind of perfecting and strengthening his shot. So they met with him, they created a little um, clip that goes onto his arm and it actually holds his stick so he has more stick control. They made it have like wood and stuff and all sorts of materials. Um, but it was all developed by high school kids and kids that wanted to help him um, with what he had said that he wanted to do. It's helped him tremendously with control with the stick and just controlling the shot. So you've used it about two years. Um, what do you think of it so far? Um, it kind of helps me shoot way more better and yeah. helps me get a harder shot. You should come check out a game or even this tournament. You know, I, you look around and you see high school teams like the eDynet team is here supporting this group. It's all about support, it's all about inclusivity. Um, and if that's something that you're looking for, coming to a game, just coming to a practice, I think you'll find that like, immediately. There's really nice kids there and anybody can play. And probably just because it's fun too.